Peter, look! The clam! <laughs> ah! This is horrible. You think this is horrible? Try losing a testicle in a knife fight with your mother. What about your bar? It's not my bar anymore. I sold the place. Let someone else worry about hurricanes. Who'd buy a wrecked bar? That bar's not wrecked. Holy crap! It's a gay bar! Lois, the drunken clam's been taken over by a bunch of lousy, limey, tea-sucking British bastards. Hey, da. Hello. Nigel Pinchley here. I was just introducing myself to your wife, who I must say is an absolutely gorgeous bit of crumpet. Uh -huh. Holy crap, you're one of them! Peter, Nigel and his daughter are our new neighbors. Yes, and I'm afraid I'm the limey bastard who's purchased your bar. Bit of an awkward moment, really. Oh, look at the little baby! <laughs> oh, what the devil is that ghastly noise? It's me, Eliza Pinchley. Gone, what's wrong with the way I talk? <laughs> Everything. Look, here's a shiny sixpence if you keep your mouth shut and go away. <sighs> Still we luck. It's an invitation to little Eliza's birthday party. You mean that horrid girl who talks like a scullery maid? I didn't realize she'd been born. I assumed she'd simply congealed in a gutter somewhere. God, why can't the English teach their children how to speak? Well, why don't you teach her? Unless you don't think you're up to it. Oh, yes, this is the part where I'm supposed to say, Oh, I am so up to it. <laughs> well, I am. I accept your challenge. At the celebration of her birthday, I shall pass that gutter snipe off as a lady. What are the stakes of this wager? Why don't you shut up for about a week? Very well. And if I win? Well, I, I wasn't betting. Why don't you just shut up for about a week? You're on! Oh, Lois, I'm so sorry this terrible tragedy has befallen you. Oh, thank you, Nigel. You're very kind. Can I touch your bum once? Huh? Now, I expect to see you at Eliza's birthday bash, and I won't take no for an answer. Unless the question is, do you not like me? <laughs> Get it? Double negative, you know. <laughs> it's very good. Yet. No, no, no! If you're ever going to be a lady, you must learn to speak like one. Now, listen to me, you tin-eared piece of baggage. We've got five days left, and I'll not lose my wager. Now, repeat after me. Hello, Mother. Have you hidden my hatchet? Hello, Mother. Have you hidden my hatchet? Oh, God, no. It's an H sound, you moron. H. Ha, 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 ha. Ew, your breath smells like kitty litter. I was curious. Excuse me, do you know where I can find Nigel Pinchley? I'm from Quahog Insurance, and I have a check for him. Five million dollars? Lucky fella took out a huge policy the day before the fire. Ugh. <sighs> Once again, here is how it should sound. How do you do? And here's how you sound. Now try it again. How do you do? What did you say? The life of the wife is ended by the knife. I think she's got it. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Eliza Pinchley. Psst, you, Dogbert. Down here, get a front row seat for this one. of you all to come. Oh, uh, magnificent. Oh, bloody hell. I've gone and wet myself. Don't give me that smug look. Fine. Well, you have extra sensitive hearing. Hear this. I'm telling. I, no, no, I, I said vacuum. I guess that lousy Nigel learned his lesson. Whatever he gets is too good for him. Dewey, I want you to know that I blame my father's death and my incarceration in this hellhole entirely on your awful mother. If it takes the rest of my life, I shall see that she suffers a slow and painful death, Eliza. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs>